guys. Welcome to Frogfoot Holler. I'm Michael. My nephew Colton's behind the camera. How y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Okay, so I got really, really good news. I have something behind me that is just so good and I'm going to have a lot of when time comes. Now, I went to my local seed store today. Well, Country Boy, it's a seed seeding farm store but they had something I really, really wanted yesterday, but they didn't have it. So I had to come back today. So I went today and I got me some red taters. <gasps> red taters. Now, Country Boy sells these for $5.50 for 10 pounds. I got 30 pounds of them. I have taters and taters and taters and more taters. Colton, take a look at this. Look at all these. See, I have taters. Look at all these taters. See? And more taters. Get my fat hand out the way. More taters. And even more taters. Look at that. 10 pounds of taters is a lot. Now, I'm not going to be planting these just yet. But I wanted to go ahead and get ahead of the curve and get my seed taters. I'll probably be doing that next week, but I got to prepare the ground first. I've already got the bed area where I want pretty much set up, but I want to retail it and get it healed up the way I want to before I start my planting. And I also have to cut my taters. So I'm going to go from 30 pounds to double that without actually going over 30 pounds. I'll be cutting each tater in half, which if you do Southern math, divide, uh, multiply 30 times two, you get 60 pounds. Somehow, that don't work. So I'll end up getting 30 pounds out of 30 pounds of taters, but twice as many than what I would if I didn't cut them in half. Anybody understand that? I almost confused myself. Either which way, me and my nephew, we're gonna be putting up the chicken run fence today. And I can let you watch a little bit of that and hopefully y'all will enjoy that. And also I found out the chickens really like the scratch. I'm talking about rah, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. And overnight, well, between when the pen was moved yesterday and overnight and today, they have scratched the living daylights out of that chicken pen area. There ain't hardly any grass left already. Three chickens. But I'll let you see that here in a little minute. So guys, I wanted to show you uh, you see this grass right here? Uh, now, I just moved a chicken coop yesterday, or a chicken pen. Look at this. Three chickens in less than a day has already pretty much tore up this entire ground. Three chickens! Uh, well, that's fine. Me and my nephew are setting up to actually put in the gate, or the bigger fenced in area for them and as you can see they're over there having fun right now but i just wanted to show you how much damage three chickens can do in less than a day all right guys me and my nephew gonna get jump on jumping on building this pen area got the outline of the fence extension done now if you'll walk through the gate with me okay that was stupid I agree but these are my gate posts and I have wire that wraps from the pin all the way around these metal posts and then attach right here same on this side like I said this will be my door I'll be specially making the door I'll have a two by four that goes from here to here to shore up these two posts. And also, it'll give me something to staple the wire to. Because what I'm gonna do is run once and then a second time. Second time, I'll actually be folding the wire over. So it'll be stapling to this and attaching to the top up there. 
So that way the oh, hawks and other birds that don't like chickens or likes chickens, actually would be the phrase, can't get to my chickens. And also if my birds decide not to be lazy and fly away, uh, they can't do it inside here. Now I do plan to let my chickens out from time to time, but this just gives them more room to scratch up and everything. And as you can see earlier, those three chickens love to scratch. All right, we're gonna get back to jumping on this. I don't know if y'all could tell or not, but it's getting a little dark. It's uh, getting later on in the day. I didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to this today, so didn't get all of it done. But what we have gotten done is posting the ground, the wires up, and it's connected to the cage back there. Now, I ain't quite figured out exactly 100% how I'm doing this next part. So it ought to be really interesting. Make sure you check out this next video that we put up on this, this build. Because it's one of those I think I have a premonition on and I'm going to have a bad day. But I figure you might want to watch the chickens come in, see if they like their new area. Or see if they even can figure out how to get in here. Let's find out. <laughs> Boy, they ain't even paying no attention to me. Oh. Come here. KFC, come here. KFC, come on. KFC, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Hey, you stupid Kay. Come here, Kay. Good girl. Uh, so these are just mealworms meant for bluebirds and stuff, but they love them, as you can see. And I figured out if you want chickens to go where they don't want to go right then, trick them. Uh, this has been Michael with Frogfoot Holler. Y'all have a froggy day.